there's some rather big chats just there about uh, getting older and getting ill and all that sort of stuff. And sex. And a lot of sex. <laughs> a lot of sex. Your favourite subject. It is my favourite <laughs> subject. <laughs> Mine too. I talk about it. I don't do it. But <laughs> well, you t well, you talk about sex a lot in the book. I have to say, I couldn't put it down. It was sort of like a Jackie Collins novel, but come to life. <laughs> I mean, you're very open about sex and that you, you sort of have been called by your friends as quite masculine in your approach to sex in that you don't need monogamy, you like to have lovers come and go, you don't want to settle down. Mm -hmm. Still like that? Absolutely. Um, I was married uh, once for 10 years. I just don't want to go there again. I don't want to do that again. I've never been interested in children. Um, I've always preferred um, animals. Um, and um, I would like to wake up in my own bed by myself. Um, yes, I, you know, I have lovers. I don't have as many as that, that survey said. Right. That, I've never gone as far as that. I'm with one person. Right. And I just don't want to marry that one person. And was it the marriage that actually put you off? Um, I don't think the marriage put me off. I had, I mean, I had a lot of good times with Bailey. Um, uh, I think it's just me. It's just how I am. This I, is David I, Bailey, yeah, the world yeah. famous photographer mm. who you were with for ten, ten years, married for ten years. What I was astonished to see in the in the book, you're very open about, you know, that he had lots of affairs. He was pretty much that I did have to get used to consistently mm. unfaithful. <laughs> and yet, in the acknowledgments at the end of the book, you thank him for unfailing loyalty, yeah. which is a bit ironic. I know it's an odd one. It's again, um, I can only put it down to the kind of person that I am. I, I don't hold grudges, and there was no need to hold a grudge with Bailey. I mean, our marriage ended, end, you know, that's it. But it didn't mean that I couldn't be friends with him. I couldn't um, still respect him and um, think of him as a great artist. Um, I love Bailey. I, I always have done, always will, but obviously in a different way. Right. I adore his wife. Now his wife is the one that came between us, but you're you know. still great friends, aren't you? Absolutely. With, with them yeah. both. And that's yeah. very unusual. I mean, what do, you, what do you put that d down to? I mean, I think if most women are not best friends with the woman who broke up their marriage I don't I mean I'm not saying that you know immediately that after it happened I was like oh yes I want to hold you and let's be best friends it, it, life is not like that but I, I do believe that you have to you learn things and you have to forgive do and you think he made you I mean he he seems to you know he he likes probably to think he made your career do you think that's true oh I think he yeah yeah did you think yeah. when you met him and you married him, I mean, he was the, the hot photographer at the time. He still is, mm. I suppose. Do you think, like, bingo? Bingo, do you yeah. think so? He doesn't yeah. talk like you, Ken. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it hit the big time, really. I mean, it, it didn't do you any harm, did it, in your career? Absolutely not, but I didn't want to get married. I mean, I had to get married. Why did you marry him, then? I had, well, I had to get married because I was an American living here, and for a model, you were only allowed a work permit once a year for three months at a time. So I had to keep going in and out of the country and lying whenever I came back. Oh. And the so finally, was that why you got married? Or was it yes, because the last straw, the immigration officer said to me, you do realize what will happen to you if we catch you lying. And I said, no. And he said, it's death by hanging. So immediately oh. I went to Bailey and I said, we've got to get, get married. married. Oh I cannot God. stand this. You know, it was horrible to have to continually lie. But when we married, it was 1975. People didn't really get married then. Mm. You know, it was a kind of, you're supposed to just live with each other. But you've got no, you're a bit like me, actually. You've got no, or I'm a bit like you, maybe. Um, you've got no fear of being alone, have you? Oh, no. You really, really love it. I do, really do you love worry it. sometimes about being found alone in your flat? Dead flies. Flies. <laughs> 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 what a horrible that's thought. The, that's the one thing that, that bothers that me really about living alone. Her. Yeah. yeah, it does, actually, yeah. I mean, you say you don't speak to people for days on end as oh, well if you can. Sometimes, if, you don't if have I to. can, yeah. Sometimes yeah. I prefer not to. But does anyone call you to see Absolutely. if you're okay? Absolutely. Absolutely, oh, but my friends. She's got oh, a friend. <laughs> yeah, but my friends know that about me, and they know when to leave me alone. But yeah. I've never thought about it in that way. You shouldn't think about things I can't like help that. It. I it's the one thing. It's the one thing that bothers me. I'll about give being you alone my number, and you can it. call me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, what, one of the things that, um, a lot of celebrities have in common, especially when they come on chat shows like this, is they say, you know, underneath all that glamour, I live a very normal. I'm just a normal person. I'm not. That's not something you could say about your life. You, you have dated 
you know, a lot of very famous, um, successful men. You've flown all over the world. You've had exotic... I mean, your life has just been sort of... It has been like a Jackie Collins novel, really. That is true, but <laughs> I still do like to look at vegetables in grocery stores. I still like to do my you own do grocery own shopping. shopping. Love it. I love grocery stores. I was interesting in the book. You, at one point, you, did, um, you used to detox at the weekends. Yes. And I thought, oh, yes, I'll have a go at that. But now you don't. You go away and eat chocolate. Uh, <laughs> it says. You said. I allow myself, because I'm on a constant, I wouldn't call it a diet, it's more like a maintenance diet. I have to be really aware of what I'm eating during the week. Saturdays, I go for broke. Anything I want to eat, at the moment, my favorite is pizza. Um, uh, yeah, it's a huge pizza that, well, a very famous uh, uh, shop sells with goat's cheese. It's so fantastic. But Chocolate, ice cream, croissant. But only for but that only one day. Week. But how do you, I mean, look, I'm looking at your face and I know how old you are <laughs> and you haven't got any wrinkles. That's not true, Carol. I always yeah. say that I have them, but I have them in the right place where you're supposed to have them. I have them when I smile. Yeah, but they're them. not like mine and I'm like <laughs> 10 years younger than you. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah. How, as a, as What's a your cream? secret? How Ice cream. You... Pizza. <laughs> yeah, okay, pizza. pizza at the weekends. With goat's cheese. Yeah. Goat's cheese is <laughs> I mean, really I think good. All, all women sort of, you know, sort of face various dilemmas when, as they grow older. As somebody who's been so world famous for her beauty and youth, is that much harder to deal with as a model, coming to terms with, with aging and knowing that there's sort of a new generation of beautiful young things coming up? And No, I think um, for me it's really easy because I was always the oldest sister um, in my family. So I, I like um, uh, nurturing. I like um, helping the younger ones um, if they want my help. Um, I'm not really worried about getting older. Um, my mother, who's such a beautiful woman, who recently died um, um, a couple of weeks ago, and she was 82. And she always said that uh, Japanese women look so young until one day they wake up and they're the prehistoric woman. <laughs> you know? But it didn't that happen to her, not. and she was at 82. And people said that she, you know, thought that she was like 50. So I'm in my 50s now. If, you know, if, if I can follow my mom. And anyway, we all get older. You know, what's the problem with that? I know, you'll uh, stop uh, it, can yeah. you? But um, did you still think you'd be modeling? At, at never, never. No. I thought I'd be back in Hawaii with my horses. I'd have a ranch. Um, but you're quite working big. really hard, aren't you? Well, I have to, Carol. I'm a single woman. No one pays my bills. That's the way I prefer it. Um, I need to work. Um, and I like it. I enjoy it. Well, that's good, because you were on the cover of Vogue recently as well, weren't you? Yeah, I was the oldest. <laughs> and are you, you going to head back to Hawaii, is it, or are you going to stay in London as your base? I love London. I've lived here since 1974, uh, and it is home for me. But I do want to go home. I do want a different kind of a life. Um, uh, yeah, I do want to have the ranch. I do want to have my horses, I, you know, which I can't do here. And the idea of not having to wear makeup, it sounds like good. Well, can yeah. you take Carol with her? We don't yeah. want her to blind dead covered in flies. Thank you very much, Marie Helden. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.